everybody welcome back to book bar and welcome to my 23 books I want to read in 2023 uh I did this last year and I read all but one and that one I didn't read because of some things with the author which is fine um I'm not gonna mention it I'm not gonna talk about it we're just gonna go ahead and do it um hopefully one of these is an Avon book so hopefully the HarperCollins strike is over by the time that book is that I am able to read that book but I'm so I'm just gonna quickly mention it and then we're gonna go from there um but yeah so these are 23 books that I want to read in the month of 2023 there is a mix of physical books that I have on my shelves and then books that I have been recommended from friends or things and then there's also one fanfic that I have heard only good things about so editing Melissa here to add that of these books none of them are continuing series they're all either like standalones or starting a new series um obviously there are lots of books that are in series that I need to continue but I don't want to put those in here because what's the fun in that so these are just 23 new books that I need to read um whether they're starting a series or continuing a, or starting a series or a standalone so yes there are no continuing series on here because if there were I would just pick 22 books from that list back to past Melissa we're gonna go ahead and jump on in I'm just gonna go over the physical books I'm not gonna say a ton about them I might kind of read synopses or say what I know. I'm going to say what I think I know about them. I'm not going to read synopses. I don't really necessarily like to. I'll do it when I haul them, but then after that, I don't like to read them. So the first book is The Madness of Lord Ian McKenzie. Um, I have heard nothing but good things about this book. Uh, I know that he has, he's like on the spectrum. So people think he's mad, but because back in the historical times, they did not know what it was so I'm excited I've heard nothing but good things everyone I know absolutely adores this book so I'm excited to give it a go then I have The Ray Kiss by Scarlett Peckham again I've heard nothing but good things and I think the second book in the series is finally coming out um I believe that she is a rake type person um and she sleeps with a uh single father so and then I have The Fairest of Them All by Teresa Medeiros people have been loving Teresa Medeiros this year and I, this is like a Snow White retelling and I love me a good retelling every once in a while. So I was like, you know what? This is a perfect book. Um, I do kind of want to pick it up. So I decided to add this. And then we have Miss Percy's Pocket Guide to the Care and Feeding of British Dragons by Quinn B. Olsen. This is part of the um, SPFBO self-published fantasy blog off. Um, and th so this is a self-published fantasy book that it has like historical vibes but also like cozy fantasy and I do want to read more like adult fantasy but this one also has like a little bit of a romantic element to it so I'm excited to give this one a go then we have On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves this is an age gap with an older woman younger man they she's he the boy the young he has cancer and so she becomes his tutor and then they go on the like she's going on this trip with his family and they get stranded on an island and I believe like they wait a couple years like he is 18 or 17 so there is like the age of consent and everything but I'm excited to see it play out then in an another fun trapped on a desert island is Wild Distortion by Tina Saxon I got this at Wanderlust in San Antonio um it was a complete cover buy but it's gorgeous and I need to read it so then I have Broken Miles by Claire Kingsley. This is the first book in the Miles Brother, Miles Family series. Um, I know a lot of people have, have really loved this series, so I'm excited to give it a go, try it out, um, and see where I fit. Then, a book that I have not read, but pretty much everyone in the romance community has read. I finally need to read Ice Planet Barbarians. I am going to take the plunge and read it. Um, my coworker was given this book and she was like here you read it <laughs> so I'm going to read it and I gotta read it and give it back to her so this will be an early one that I read um, pretty early on in 2023 so I'm excited to finally give IPB a try uh, and basically if you have been living under a block um, this is by Ruby Dixon and these humans are kidnapped by some aliens and then they're like crash land 
and then those aliens are no longer alive and so they're on this planet called not hoth and they are taken by these big blue alien men and they all meet with them so there's that then um another adult fantasy that i want to get into is the bone shard daughter by andrea stewart um i have heard really good things about this um like i said i want to get more into fantasy adult fantasy um i do enjoy them every once in a while and this one it's like it has something to do the magic system has to do with bone shard magic and the daughter of the emperor um is like cast out because of her magic or something i don't really fully know but i am excited to give it a try then the next book that i have these are all on either ku or um any play i try not to like i'm i'm gonna try not to buy as many books next year we'll see so i'm trying not to add any books that i would have to buy um so but if it's on any play or if it's on uh ku i will read it so like there's a couple that were suggested to me that i just can't um i can't get to them so i'm not going to add them but uh, one of them is the romance recipe by ruby barrett this was uh brie from four falls in a book she suggested this there was another one but that one i would have to pay for and i couldn't get it from the library i couldn't get it from any um from any play or from ku so sorry that one's gotta wait <laughs> um but the romance recipe it's a chef it's a sapphic romance it's a chef and i think her new boss or something like that along those lines um it sounds really good i'm excited to give it a try then i have for lucy by julianne this one cheyenne from that tall book girl sam from sammy's a little and tori from all the life of all like raved about um it's a marriage in trouble i believe or a second chance and i don't know which one but um they were married or they are married and there's a problem and the dad takes something takes the blame for something that his daughter did uh and or something and it causes problems in his marriage and so yeah I'm excited I know it's emotional I've heard it's really good and I want to give it a try I have read one Julianne book and I really enjoyed it so I want to try more from that author then I have the culmination of everything by Christina C. Jones I have put this one on so many GBRs and I don't know why like it scares me for some reason I feel like it's going to be emotional but I really do want to read it. I want to read more of Christine C. Jones' Backlist. I've been really enjoying her books this year. So this is, that is another one. I It's a small town romance. That's really all I know. Um, again, I don't want to know too much about any of these. So I'm just saying what I, what I do know. Then another one that I want to read is Lucky Hit by Hannah Cohen. Um, this is one that I've seen, like the author has done like a bunch of reels and TikToks on Instagram and it's made me really interested. And then Caitlin from the Love Librarian, a couple of these are Caitlin from the Love Librarian specials. Uh -huh. She has talked about it and I want to read it. I, again, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a hockey romance. So yes, I love me a good sports romance. They are probably my favorite subgenre of contemporary romance is sports romance. So I need all of them. Give me all of the sports romances. Then another one that is a Caitlin from the Love Librarian special is Mile High by Liz Tom Ford. Again, a hockey romance um, where I think it's a, they, he's on a plane, like, and there's a one night stand, I think. Who knows? I'm excited. So Caitlin has raved about it. So yeah, adding that. Then I have Trick by Antalya Jaster. This one I heard about from Joe from Not So Average Joe. I think it's like a Phantom of the Opera, possibly um, retelling, but it sounds really good. Um, I had read the synopsis a while ago and it's a fantasy romance. That's really all I need to know. It's, I'm excited to give it a try. Then I have to, have to, have to read throttled by lauren asher this has been on my ku for so long uh so i think if i finally put it on this list if i put it on a book that i have to uh, books that i have to read i will finally read it and get it off of my list my ku list so that is going on here throttled by lauren asher another one that has been on my ku like check-ins for a long time is one hot italian summer by karina halley uh i need to just pick this one up and read it it is a nanny romance i believe possibly I know it's a single dad, so I'm excited. It takes place in Italy. I love Italy. So 
Then another book that I need to read is Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. Um, everyone has absolutely just adored this book. It was it's probably going to be on a lot of people's favorites from this year. It was on some people's favorites from last year. And I just am intimidated by it. I have not picked it up, but I need to. So adding it to this list, I know it is a dark romance where they are kidnapped. It's a girl and her uh, sister's fiance are kidnapped together and I know that it is very dark there are a lot of dark things that happen but I'm excited to give it a try then another one that I have to read is When Heroes Fall by Jenna Darling uh, I know that this is a grumpy sunshine mafia where the hero is the sunshine and the heroine's a grump and I'm just super excited for it um, I have heard nothing but good things about it Tori from Novel Life absolutely adores it it's like one of her favorite books of all time so I need to read it uh, because I do love Jenna Darling's writing and I have read all of the Fallen Men series so I do want to read like more of her books so I'm adding that one then another one is Restore Me by JL Seegers this is a crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life she just absolutely adored this book um, and has it's a long one but I've heard it's really good and emotional and it hits in all of the right places so I'm excited to pick that one up I think it's like a um her husband died and now she's falling for his best friend so taboo aspect of it without being super taboo. Then another one that is a Caitlin from The Love Librarian, but also Jess from Peace of Books loves this book is Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt or Tara DeWitt. I don't know how you say it. Um, but this is a, another, I think, single dad romance <laughs> with um, like childhood best friends and she's a comedian and he is like her manager. And so they have feelings for each other so to, or they have to fake date or something. And yes, I love all of those things. So that is getting added. Then Haven by Claire Kent. Uh, this is a survival romance, I believe. Um, Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings and Jen from Book Refuge have absolutely loved this series. Um, and it was one of, Rachel put it on my 12 books from 12 Friends. But I'm adding it to this list um, more than any of the other ones because this one does sound fantastic and I do really want to read it. And Rachel actually put it on my 12 books twice. So I'm like, okay, I got to get to it. So adding it to this list. And then the last one is a fanfic and that is Chasing the Sun by Lotin. It is a Snape and Hermione fanfic that I know Ashton um, really adored and so did Mel from Mel Vines Fix. So I need to pick it up because I have heard nothing but good things and I was talking to Ashton one day on Sprints and she was saying that the shape and Hermione is just a great grumpy sunshine age gap and I'm like oh, yes I need it I need I love an age gap so I'm excited to give that one a try uh I don't know much about it other than it's a Snape and Hermione and I think it's it's quite a long fanfic so I will be doing that. It'll probably be one that I take a really long time to read just because um, I do do that. Because this one is only on fanfic.net. So I'm going to have to read it like on my iPad. And my iPad tends to hurt my eyes when I read too much. So it'll be one that like I probably read very slowly over the course of like a couple months. So, but yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that should be 23 books that I need to read in the month of 2023. Uh, I have a good stack of a good mix of KU and physical and audio so I'm excited to give these all a try um ignore my stupid thing but yeah I'm excited to get them give them a try um let me know down in the comments which ones I should prioritize if there's any or if any I you think I should not read at all I should just skip them <laughs> let me know and I might switch it out. I mean, this is pretty early on in December that I'm filming this, but that's okay. But if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a, um, leave me a, just leave me a book stack emoji because, uh, book stack of 23 books to read next year. So, uh, <laughs> I forget what I'm saying. But yeah, leave me a book tag emoji if you made it to the end of this video. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It really helps me out. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Bye.